I said, shut up. Why do I gotta be the dickhead, dude? Laura doesn't respect you, Jesus. Just this isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. Yeah, dude. Ryan's fucking a piece of shit. Where does Chris Hackett live? Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? Uh, I'm thinking about not killing you. Then we better get going. I've had kind of a fucked up summer. Doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I don't know, man. I'm not really getting Ryan too much. I'm trying to save everyone, but he's making it hard for me to fulfill that. Here's a thought. Yeah! You want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? I say the wear person goes first. I mean, I know I am the wear person, but for fuck's sake. Ryan, dude, I can probably take a bullet at this point. Let me go first. Be careful. I got you. Ryan, run! You're a wear person. Fucking act like it, dude. What up, what up, what up, my boys? We are back at this shit again, and let's go ahead and get right back into it. We left off. We just finished Chapter 8. And now we're playing as Dylan on Chapter 9, so let's get it. Have you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Well, shit. Let's just keep moving. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Hooky McHookface. Depressed. <laughs> I guess it's kind of, we're gonna be positive. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something <clears throat> to talk about on the radio station. We're all going to be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Why the fuck would you be laughing about this? Like, no matter what amount of time passes, dude, that's kind of fucking nut. You, you fucking fighting werewolves. Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Why would you want to come back? Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Hmm, are they going to run across the Hackett house as well? No, this is a scrapyard, it looks like. Okay. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. A VNS motion sensor like here. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Dun dun. Alright, we are Abigail. Fuck, I don't like the way this is gonna play out. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> Why are you so positive? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your Whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Well, you sure fucking do a bang up job of that with Jacob, dude. You were purposefully fucking fucking him up. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, 
Come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> well, <sighs> we know the ladder is not nine, huh? not going to be a good yeah. choice if we get the option to go to that. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> That's a pretty easy thing to say, for me at least. Even if I never cuss, dude. You tell me I'm coming across werewolves? Put me down. Fuck the night. Easy, ma. Put me down, you old witch. Blow your fucking head up. Shit. Joke slimer. Buddy, just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. She's a fucking werewolf. You think that's gonna were a person? You think that's gonna fucking. Gotcha. Yo, what the fuck you did to my Kaylee? Nah. Get the fuck off me. Kill her. Do it. Yes. Fuck you. You old fucking piece of shit. Everybody stop. Constant. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that old bitch. Uh, oh, damn, Ryan got fucking... Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. I mean, what'd you... She grabbed a gun. Like a fucking right dumbass, dude. Ooh, the fuck did you expect? No more protecting him, Travis. Oh fuck. No! No! Fuck, I know he's an asshole, but fuck. That was a bad spot to be stabbed. I don't even know if it'd be a good idea to take it out. Alright, that's not good. It's not, not at all. Pull not. See, I don't know if that's a good idea. We're gonna leave it there because, like, I'm gonna bleed out. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think the better idea here is to uh, is to leave that thing in there because, from what I've seen in movies, once you pull the thing that's you know, keeping the blood inside of you out, it, it ends up not being good for you. And especially with where it's located, I feel like that's just not a good idea. I mean, that's like right in the lung. If it did puncture the lung, we're managing, we're seeming to do okay now. I feel like if we uh, pull it out, that's just gonna fucking fuck us up. Maybe I shouldn't have said fuck old bitch, because he seemed to be protecting us, but she was just kind of a fucking piece of shit, though. I mean, she fucked with Nick. Called him a stupid ass animal when she had him in the cage. She fucking is just being a right piece of shit here in the past few few minutes. So fuck, dude. You shit talking Travis pretty hard, dog. Travis is my boy. I spent a whole few months with him in, in a jail cell, man. Give that to me. No, no, no. Do not be death. Fuck, I don't like that. 
fucking death, dude. And I'm playing as a dude that just got stabbed. That, I mean, that's fucking... It's over for us. We are not... Yeah, I tried to fucking fast walk. I didn't... I don't know what I expected. Locked, I thought. I thought so. Oh, shit. What the... Alright. Block door hide. Um, let's No, no, no. We're, we're, we're fucking wounded. I don't know if we're going to be able to move too many heavy shit. Under bed in the cabinet. Under bed in the cabinet. Under bed. Fuck! In the cabinet. There's nothing. Let's just do it. Fuck, he's gonna know we're in here too, or at least came this direction because of our fucking blood that's in the goddamn thing. God damn it. Or this might be where the fucking pulling the knife would have helped because we would have had a fucking weapon. Fuck. Well, yeah, I was about to say it's not a good it's not a good time now. Stupid decisions made by stupid people. I mean, it worked out, I guess, but fuck. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Damn, Ryan, you're strong. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker. You're a fucker. That was lame. We could have come up with something fucking better. Fucking Laura, go wear a person again. Fuck them up. You gotta save everyone. Hide, run, hide. We're a wear person. Fight! I hear her breath and I'm holding... I'm holding my breath. I mean, I heard it too, but I'm wondering why she fucking did it. Dude, the don't breathe shit doesn't even matter. Every single fucking time I've successfully done it, the person just eventually gets up, runs anyways, or makes some sort of fucking noise, and the other person pursues. So, like, what the fuck is the point? Alright, cool. Let's figure out a way through this fucking dainty little home. A piano. Can I play it? Completely my own fault. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no. We're not playing. Why Why? Why would we even, even contemplate that? There are bears around here. Alright. Damn, Laura's handi handling these stairs like a champ compared to everybody else. Fuck's sake. 
Or else sees the fucking stair or gets to the stairs and forgets how to walk. What is in here? The sun. That's cool. Well, I didn't really want to like. That's great. That's awesome. How do you do it? I am become wear person. We playing games no more, little girl. No, we ain't. I'm a wear person, though. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I'm sure to hell can make you suffer. Woo! Yeah, fuck you, you old fuck. Yellow eyes? Attack, run, attack, not fuck this dude. Hell yeah, dude. I'm for it. I'm all for it. How about that fucking smoke, dog? Give it to me. No, that's not a gr- that's fucking- why? Why would we do that? I know the lights were bothering you, but fuck. Hey! No, I don't want him to die either. I like him. Oh, no. She's gonna wait. No, he didn't seem like he was being a bad dickhead. That you know, he seemed like he was just sad but conflicted. Now I feel like I should have run. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, you better you better get, dude. Gonna bust through the wall. Hey, <laughs> you too fucking big, dude. You can't fit back here. first besides I'll get in trouble stab yes <laughs> Ow! 
You stabbed me. Yeah, yeah fuck, fuck you, dude. Hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you both. Oh, it really hurts, Dad. Oh, Daddy's dead, dude. Fuck your dad. Thor, calm down. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. There's Max, now you. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. I don't want Ryan to die. I'm mad, I'm talking mad shit about him, but still. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. Fuck. But it'll it'll heal though, right? Bite him or some shit. Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you, what? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means. Yeah, yeah, I got it, big bad wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's too. Yeah, sorry. I didn't want... to bite me. I live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call for now. Fuck, I don't want it to be my call. So we doing this or no? Alright, so here's the thing though. See what we saw in the crystal ball, man. We saw a werewolf fuck Travis up and I don't want that to happen. And I feel like we're fucking... We're about to have three werewolves in this house, dude. Holy shit. But I don't want Ryan to die. He's the original cast. I mean, I guess technically Travis is too. But... Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. I mean, Ryan's kind of funny sometimes. Oh, no, but what if she loses control? That would be no bueno. She looks like she's fucking close. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. Fuck. We gotta go. What? Uh, he got it. Uh. <sighs> 
I don't want Travis to die. I really, really don't. I like Travis a decent bit. These are really tough choices here in the in the last few chapters. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <whistles> Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, dude, we only have fucking werewolves Anybody about. You? <sighs> not yet. Keep looking. Walking around, walking around town, trying to find us some car parts. So so what's the plan if we find like an engine, dude? We can't carry a fucking engine back there. I'm not a car guy, but I know that much about fucking <laughs> cars. The engine's fucking heavy. So what the fuck we plan on doing? Fuck. No. It's a s God damn it, Dylan! It's a single button. You never press the fucking random soul like a uh, fucking button that's in there. Documentary. Yes. No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. You you don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, that's just risky. I understand it only opened a gate, but fuck, you don't know what that's what what the fuck that leads to. You don't know what the fuck that button did. It's a one random button sitting on a fucking desk. What the fuck are you doing? Pressing that shit. You never do that. What the fuck? I'm gonna go in here, but I'm nervous to do it. Super nervous to do it. Holy shit, that goes, I thought it would just be a dead end. Oh, fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Caitlin, we're going back. Yeah, what am I, why am I taking lead? You got the fucking gun. And Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. Yeah, no, he's not okay. Not at all. My man had to fucking accept the werewolf to live. Now we have like no choices in what we're doing. Fuck. Chris has got to go. If he's the original or the old bitch, the old fucking hag that, that reads our tarots has got to go. Someone's got to go. Someone's got to go, and I don't want it to be... Why are you going that way? I don't want it to be any of my characters. So, Chris, I, I thought you were pretty cool. You wanted to keep us safe, but if it's the only way out of here, I'm sorry, dude. Your ass is about to get some silver-lined lead. Go up the stairs! I don't get why these fucking people t t take stairs so slow. Laura's the only one that's handled that shit with some any any amount of re of judgment. I don't like any of these cards. The first one I got, well, the second one wasn't bad. The first one I got is death, then sun, now judgment. Death and judgment sound fucking awful. Down the fucking slow ass stairs again. I'm assuming this takes us back out the middle. Oh fuck. Sorry, that was scary. Yeah, it was. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. To be fair, at least we know there are monsters. 
And knowing there are monsters as fucking opens up the possibility for there to be, a, you know, other shit. Other shit that you could reasonably clear, classify as monsters as well that we haven't seen yet. So yes, there, there is, there is legitimate reason to be a, a, a bit worried about something other than werewolves at the moment. Don't like the fact that I'm having to take the lead on these long ass fucking hallways. Cause look, we got a shotgun, right? If something pops out in front of me, I'm in a bad position between a monster and a fucking gun. Caitlin, where are you at with the gun, okay? Where are you? Get over here! I'm missing a fucking hand, Caitlin. Fucking London Tempton over here. Well, fucking fuck my ass sideways. That was a dead end. Uh, fucking thanks for the waste of time, Jesus Christ. Now you're taking the lead. Oh, thanks. We know the area is safe now, so yeah, I'll I'll go in front. I, I gotta be. Honest, I'm with Dylan on this. I don't like these fucking motion sensor lights. Why do why do, is it necessary that they make that loud ass noise whenever they uh power up? Convenient. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure. Trust um, her with the gun. Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Because we have one arm, and I feel like up there is safer than down here. Also, yeah, dude, terrible nickname, fucking The Grabber. Especially to be called by fucking groups of children. Alright. Looks like somebody's mom... Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you fall in a wag, will you? What the hell is going on? Oh, that's not good. My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. Is that Laura and Max's car from the fucking... I think it should work, actually. She did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! Fuck. Fuck! Dylan's being a fucking badass. Yo, fucking screaming smart. No! Bad choice. I feel like I'm about to have to use a life. Dylan, help! Dylan, come on, help me! Dylan! 
fat bitch. Drop it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Now there were two though. Wasn't there? Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. Okay. For realsies is kind of a wild ass thing to say after that. So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. <sighs> we can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Well, if that same ladder that we used in the very beginning of the game as Dylan is down here, then we know that that is not going to be a viable route for the both of us. That's fucking terrific. That's fucking terrific. It's not like you're about to be possessed or some shit. What'd you find? Oh, I'm uh, just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. I, I, the lodge, there there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Well, I do know what's up there. It is a lodge. This fucking ladder is, is about to not be good, though. That was close. Fuck, she's about to be stuck down there in a minute, isn't she? feel better soon cool I'm feeling pretty good actually what are you doing stop it do you smell that no never mind let's just find another way down a way to Chris Hackett yeah Lori just a way out maybe you're becoming I'm sus being chased and stabbed Sure. And another way out. Fine. 
is not the right way to go, but. Watch your step. Uh, yep. Nah. What was that? Fuck. Oh, maybe that's Chris. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Dope. Aim the gun and and fire. Pretty simple thing to do. So you put it up to your eyes and you squeeze your finger. Hey, it's Bobby. No fuck. Fuck you, Bobby. No, 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 no. Was that Laura? Was that still Laura? Or was there two werewolves? Oh, no, there's... Travis? Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? Think this is over. This isn't over. I, I don't understand. Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed. Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. They've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child. Giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. 
If we're gonna be suspicious, because I like Travis. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay. So, where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Fuck, I feel so bad okay, for let's Travis. Go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? Fuck, I feel so bad for Travis, man. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> the sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cried bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned, a fate deserved. Likely, but he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, we're gonna see more. I feel like seeing more last time saved everyone we just saw die. Because in the, uh, in the last one, she showed us more, and we saw Travis die, we saw Ryan die, we saw good... Like, I think one more person die, but we saved all of them. Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. I understand. So which is it? Choose. We do have a choice to make, though. Uh... I would only choose the sun because the picture on the front looks exactly like how they're describing that boy. Uh, but death and judgment sound. We're gonna go with, oh, death. Nice. One last time, go back. Go back and end this. One last time, eh? Alright. Oh, wow, it actually shows you playing as her whenever you're in these. That's funny. Uh, but anyways, that is chapter 9, guys. We're gonna cut it there. In the next one, we're gonna be fucking finishing it. But anyways, if you enjoyed that shit, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again next time.